everyone, Aaron or Edward Speed here. Today we're going to identify these housing ends on this rear end, talk a little bit about this. This is the next piece of the puzzle and identifying what you're going to do for axles, bearings, offset, all that information. So let's get the tape measure out and let's measure these up. So I like to burn an inch, so center to center, going across, three and nine sixteenths. Going up and down, right at two inches up and down. Takes a 3 8 T-bolt, take our dial calipers. We're measuring the diameter inside this bearing pocket. Right there, you got a 3150 OD bearing. So this is a big Ford new style Torino housing end. Industry standard two and a half inch offset. Takes a big Ford, either an 88, 128 style bearing or a uh, Timken set 20 style bearing. All the major manufacturers are going to have something to fit this. This is typically what we use on new construction. Now, a couple rules to follow with your housing ends. Always measure these dimensions. Don't go by, don't look at the spec sheet. Don't look at the sheet and say, well, it looks like that one. Because there's a lot of aftermarket stuff going on. They didn't always look like that. OEM doesn't, they don't make them the same way all the time. So uh, I'll drop some uh, images here you could take a look at all these crazy housing ends, all these options. Uh, I mean, like a nine inch, just a nine inch Ford by itself from the factory. You had small bearing ends, big Ford old style, big Ford new style Trino. You get to the newer stuff, you got all these Mustang ends. Um, you know, there's all kinds of aftermarket hybrid stuff. So like if you're running a Ford Gen Camaro disc, you got flush mount style ends. Um, you got housing ends that take a big Ford bearing, but work with like a Camaro Chevelle Nova backing plate. They use a big Ford style bearing. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. So it is extremely important to don't go by the appearance and actually measure them up. So by measuring this, you're telling us a lot about your project, brake offset, bearing type, uh, making sure things are gonna, you know, your caliper bracket or your drum brake backing plate will actually bolt up to this. So there's a lot of things going on here. So this is a very important step, measure this up. Let's get to talking about some more axle features like the hub, flange, bolt patterns, offsets, stuff like that. Let's keep going here. So appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. Redbirdspeed.com. If you have any questions, give me a call, 260-301-2424. Have a good one.